Good morning. Um, I'm feeling much better. A lot of the shit I was doing has left my body, and my body has returned to a lot closer to normal condition. And a lot of the stuff that I was really raging out about, either way, regarding the shit I discussed on this account, the trafficking shit, and it was all set off by my friends saying it didn't happen. That shit passed. In the interest to keep it that way, this is, I hope I can stick to this. It's going to have to be my last update for a minute. But since it's finally good, I want to leave that on a good note. Since I have to humiliate myself, just standing up for myself and all that shit. Like, look, here's the deal. Cliff notes. Crystal meth is fucking whack. I agree. It's bad. I don't, I don't say that because it was hurt in the last day or so. I say that because it's literally just toxic poison. And it also fucked up a lot of my life just because people attribute shit to it. It's just whack. The shit I went through the last three years with this trafficking shit is super whack. The way people treated me in the process, abandoned me, wrote me off, whatever, you know, cursed my name different ways. That's whack. All that shit is whack. A position it left me in is fucking whack. Conserved, gravely disabled, apparently. Um, you know, I really appreciate the help from everybody that I get now, but that shit's whack too. The last time this same thing happened, for two weeks I was sober and telling them calmly, hey guys, I'm really stressed, I'm having a mental breakdown about this trafficking shit. They didn't ignore it, they didn't even hear it. It went straight over everybody's head, at least two or three different people that I work with, you know, the people who are one-on-one -on -one with me or the therapists or whatever. They didn't even fucking hear it. They didn't ignore it. it. They didn't notice that I was saying several times I was having a mental breakdown. So eventually I ran, got high. Everyone's like, what the fuck? Why did you do Not what the fuck. They're cool. But like, why did you do this again? I was like, you don't remember me saying for two weeks that I was having a mental breakdown? And one of the companions was like, yeah, but you're not stressed like this when you're not high. Yes, I am. I'm just adult and calm and mature and say, hey, I'm having a mental breakdown and no one listens. I love these guys, like, I'm just telling you guys what's up. And, like, now, like, when I was sober living and shit, I was like, hey, can I call my ex-wife? My ex-wife has done drugs once in her life, and it was when we were married, she smoked some weed with me. She licked my face for about half an hour and then thought she was dead for two hours. So she's not a drug user. They are like, oh, I don't know if you're allowed to do that. I don't think I can do that. I was like, hey, I can call her. It's not treatment or rehab or inpatient. It's just a house. You pass drug tests and go get a job and shit. You can call your ex-wife. I don't know if I can let you do that. I'm like, I like this guy a lot, but I was like, motherfucker, I'm 29 years old. I can call my ex-wife. I wasn't asking for a phone. I was just asking to call her. I was like, I can call my ex-wife if I want to. Like, what the fuck? That shit, that's just an example. Shit like that really adds up. When I'm trying to get over this horrific trauma that no one ever at all helped me with, you know, on the ground, ground level. And all the people responsible did the same thing and just treated me like a fucking drug addict and a crazy person. And the people who are supposed to be helping me, or my friends even, they all do the same shit. I wonder why I get upset. And that's no excuse. I can't be doing drugs. But I also can't come back to this. So I figure out a solution. I think I'm onto something with the fuck it, fuck you packet where I have all the evidence and just it helps me just write people off and just show it to them. I need some other stuff too. I don't know exactly what. I don't have the answers. I know one answer is don't do drugs. Through CalWorks or housing assistance, I get a 16 day motel voucher. If I don't have a better answer than just the packet thing, I'm gonna get that and stay clean and demonstrate that I don't need babysitters and rules and people telling me I can't call my ex-wife to stay clean. I'll actually do much better at staying clean like that, left alone and not giving people's opinions and shit. The two week mental breakdown thing, like when I talk to one of the other one on one guys, I'm like trying to talk to him about it. He rolls his eyes, looks away from me, stops making eye contact, and doesn't respond to anything I say. Like I'm and I know he, he knows my story and stuff, but like, what the fuck is that, man? And then you wonder why I turn to drugs. Not only am I getting the help I need, but 
90% of the people that are allegedly either my friends or my treatment team or whoever are fucking making this shit a lot worse. I mean, they're doing their best, but we got to figure this out in a better way. Because my life is completely whack and I'm not about that. I'm taking the initiative to continue detoxing and go find a different place to sleep because I can't stay here right now. And I want more sleep. I want more food. Which is great news. It means shit's getting out of my body. I'm getting back to normal. I don't know what we can do. I don't know what the answer is. I know part of it is don't do drugs, so I'm gonna take initiative and do that. But I can't, I can't re-engage with any of this shit till we figure it out. And I want to engage with it and I want to figure my shit out. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm doing much better, a lot on my mind. But it was fucking six minutes. I was meant to tell you guys that was cool and that everything sucks. But we'll figure it out in time. I hate being the face of this shit. Because there's a lot more than Rob's problems. And that's the hardest part of this whole thing is the last year, a couple years. The world has been very clear that Rob has problems. And that Rob needs to fix some shit. And I, I agree with that. Rob has also been very clear that some problems have been happening to him. That have never been appropriately responded to by anybody. It would be cool if we could fix that so I could stop pissing you all off by having a mental breakdown for two weeks that y'all don't even pay attention to until I fuck it up. See where I'm going with this? I think you guys get the idea. I'm gonna go find a different place to sleep and get the money somebody owes me. And today I'm gonna work on getting those motel vouchers from CalWorks or housing assistance. It's not exactly clear. Who provides it? I don't know what to tell you. We'll figure it out.